Hello and welcome. Please subscribe and smash the like button. Today and for the very first time I wanted to make a video about the late Ahmadidat, a South African Muslim apologist, the Muslim apologist of his time. Ahmadidat became very famous for his knowledge about the Bible, the so-called knowledge about the Bible. And still after 35 years, Muslims are still very proud about Ahmadidat and what he had achieved. But Ahmadidat, he was a really proud man. And in 1985, in his debate with Dr. Anish Sharosh, a Christian Arabic speaker, Ahmadi Dad in that debate prayed and asked God to silence whoever is mistaken and a liar. A couple of weeks later, Muhammad, sorry, Ahmadi Dad was found silenced on his deathbed. Now, don't be mistaken, I'm not trying to mock this poor man's way of death. No, I'm trying to show you when you're going to challenge the living God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, if you're going to challenge him, God will answer. And that's what happened to the late Ahmadidat. Couple weeks later, as you see on the pictures here, he suffered a very painful death, unfortunately. So many Muslims still today consider him to be a very famous and knowledgeable man. But the guy, he was an Indian, born Indian, and he lived for a very long time in South Africa. He was not an Arabic speaker, and in his last debate, he finally got the chance to debate a Christian Arabic speaker. And Dr. Anish Sharush, the Christian apologist, the Christian debater, he really spanked Ahmadidat in that debate. He really ended his career. If you're going to go and watch that debate, he really mopped the floor with him. So, why did I create this video? I wanted to create this video to show you the lies of the late Ahmadidat. I'm going to give you a couple of examples where Ahmadidat actually lied, where he lied about the Holy Bible. So let us show you and prove to you that Ahmadidat did all this for fame, and money because don't forget that Ahmadidat was really a millionaire he got a lot of money for whatever he was doing he was a really rich man and he didn't do it for knowledge or truth he did it for the money and fame so let us show you a couple of examples and I'm going to prove to you that he was nothing but a liar and a deceiver so Muslims I hope you have the courage to keep listening to this video. Let us start and show you a couple of examples. So glory to God, the best to create. Fatabarakallahu ahsanul khaliqeen. So glory to God, the best to create. So I'm going to tell my people. So, as you heard, guys, he was reciting uh, one of the ayahs in the Quran and he tried to translate it. First of all, his Arabic really sucks. I'm an Arabic speaker, and this guy, his Arabic is really bad. <laughs> uh, and he really translated it very bad so this guy as you see he doesn't even know his own Quran it doesn't say the best of who create 
Ahsan al Khalaqin is the best of creators. The best of creators, not the best who create. So as you see, guys, this guy doesn't even know his Quran. So how can you try to rebuke or refute the Bible or attack the Bible if you can't even translate the Quran in proper English? And his Arabic is really bad. At least try to have knowledge about your own Quran, then try to do some polemics. In this case, attack the Bible, the Bible of Allah, right? <laughs> Don't forget, Muslims believed that the Torah, the Injil, and the Zabur are from Allah. So he's attacking the very eternal words of Allah Himself. You know? Are you a good Muslim to attack the eternal words of Allah? Of course not. This guy, as you see, I just gave you one example. He only did this for fame. You see how proud he is in the matter of speech? This guy did not do it for the truth. He did it for fame. He did it for money. And as you just saw, he cannot even translate the Quran from Arabic to English in a proper way. He doesn't even know his Quran. Let me repeat again what he said. Let me repeat again what he said. I've not been able to classify. And I say, I glorify God for having seen it. And so many other things I saw in your zoo. We said every step I said, So glory to God, the best to create. The best of who create? <laughs> no, that's not what the Arabic says, my friend. The Arabic says the best of creators. So there is not only one creator, according to the Quran, there are many creators. Why are you being a scumbag, Mr. Ahmadinejad? Why are you being a scumbag and not translate the Quran properly? It's the best of creators, not the best who creates. So as you see, this is one example that we gave you about the Quran. Let me give you more examples and we will also go to the Bible. And I will rebuke him and show you a couple of examples where he's lying about the Bible. My experience, I haven't come across these. I don't know how they thumb, thumb suck things, you know, out of thin air and they tell you abrogated. I said, right, let's say for a moment, abrogated. Can you please bring us those abrogated verses? We'd like to compare them with the Quran. Where are they? Have you seen them? What are you talking about, abrogation? This is the Quran throughout the world. There is not another Quran. Whether you go to China, word for word the same. You go to Turkey, go to Nigeria, wherever you go, there is not the difference of a dot between one Quran and another in the world. And this is, has been as far as we can go back into history. Clearly, Ahmadidad have never heard about the abrogation inside the Quran. Mr. Ahmadidad, you're a liar and a deceiver. Liar, liar, liar. Chapter 22, Ayah 52. Fayun suhu Allahu ma yulqi ash shaytanu. But Allah abrogates or abolishes that which Satan throws in. Satan throw in the satanic verses on the tongue of Muhammad. Then Allah abrogates and abolishes what Satan had thrown in. It's in your Quran, Mr. Ahmadidad. Again, Mr. Ahmadidad, you have never heard about the abrogation inside the Quran. How are you even a Muslim trying to attack the Bible while you have no clue about Islam? How, do you, how did this guy call himself a Muslim? That is the number one million dollar question. How can you how can you try to attack Christianity while we just prove to you to Muslims and to the Christian audience who are listening now that Ahmadid had had no clue what he's talking about he had no clue what he was talking about clearly he, he never heard of abrogated verses what about the verses that according to Sunan Abi Majah hadith 
where Aisha says the verses for adult breastfeeding and stoning went under her pillow and a tame sheep or goat came and ate them. He have never heard about these, did you, Mr. Ahmadida? A liar and a deceiver. You, we sucked it out of thin air. <laughs> That's a good joke, Mr. Ahmadida. Was that a challenge, guys? He challenged us, right? Bring them. We just brought it from the Quran where Allah says he abrogated verses. It's in your Quran. Even all the scholars, especially since this guy is a Sunni, the Sunni scholars do not lie or disagree about the abrogation in the Quran. It's inside the Quran. And I made a video about it before. So you can go and watch it. So Ahmadidat, you're nothing but an ignorant Muslim who has no clue about Islam. You have no clue or he had, this guy had no clue what he was talking about. Right? So let me also show him where he lied about there is no dot that is changed in all the Quran. He says every Quran is the same. D didn't he say that? He said it, right? No dot, no letter is changed. Let me prove him wrong. Is that a challenge, Mr. Ahmadidat? <laughs> Let me also rebuke him about that part. This is chapter 57, ayah 24. This is the house version. And it says, Huwa al ghaniyu He is. And here, in the Qalun and Warsh versions, a complete word is missing. The huwa is completely missing. So, as you heard, Ahmadi Dad said, all the Qurans, no dot is changed. Liar and a deceiver. Clearly, this guy, he didn't know Arabic. He didn't study this material 35 years ago. And he had no clue about that complete words are missing. For what about the dots that are missing? We can show him many examples like this. What about this one? Here even the doctrine is changed. Here it says, وَكُتُبِهِ His books, chapter 66, ayah 12, His books, and in the Warsh version, contradicting the Hafs version, it says, وَكِتَابِهِ His book. وَكِتَابِهِ His book. So as you see, here it's talking about his book. So the, all the books of Allah, including the Torah, Injil, Zabur, and the Quran. Here it's talking about one book. Which book? We don't know. It could be the Torah. It could be the Zabur. It could be the Injil. But it can also be the Quran only. Right? So here we have a not only a missing difference or a difference here here the doctrine is is different the word is different right so mr ahmadi dad you have no clue what you're talking about as you see guys he said there is no abrogation and there is no dot or letter is changed in the quran which is false we know there are 31 different Qur'ans today in 2019 circling around the world that do not agree with today's Qur'an. The Hafs version, the Qalun version, the Warsh version do not agree, as you see. And I can give you many examples like this. I made two videos about this topic. You can go and watch them, part one and part two, where I gave you examples of missing words dots can change the meaning words are different the doctrine is different mr ahmadi dad had no clue 35 years ago what he was talking about the quran throughout the world there is not another quran whether you go to china word for word the same you go to turkey go to nigeria wherever you go there is not the difference of a dot between one quran and another in the world you heard him, right? No difference in dot, <laughs> which is a lie we just showed you. 
we refuted that, we exposed that lie from Ahmadidat, and we also showed you that there are many abrogations in the Quran where one ayah abrogates another ayah, where ayahs have been eaten by a goat of Aisha, which the goat of Aisha, the holy goat of Aisha, became holy when he ate the Quranic verses. So a holy goat abrogated the verses of Allah by eating them, swallowing them. So this goat became a very holy goat. <laughs> Lord of mercy. A goat can eat the words of Allah. Lord of mercy. Muslims, Muslims. So now that we just exposed the lies and deception and ignorance of this deceiver who tried to deceive the world 35 years ago and unfortunately still today Abduls are following the examples the same questions that this guy asked that have been refuted over and over about the Bible now we're going to show you how he was lying about the Bible and at that time not many people had the knowledge to easily refute him because remember at that time the internet was not there yet there was not many uh, sources to go to or whatnot to understand what this guy was doing so he had you know a lot of time a lot of money to deceive poor illiterate Muslim thinking that he had the knowledge to uh, expose the Bible but clearly he was using deception he was using tactics to get away with his lies and deception so let us go to the Bible let me us show you how he was using tactics using deception to try to deceive the world let me play for you an example where he used tactics for his own agenda to deceive the world for money and fame let us start this that the holy prophet muhammad وسلم, was mentioned by name in the bible mentioned by name in the old testament in the song of solomon chapter 5 verse 16 in the hebrew language it reads in the hebrew language it says hikko mamittakim vi kullu muhammadim zahdudi vi zahrai bayna jerusalem Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. The word Muhammadim is Muhammadim. The word is there in the Hebrew language. In the original, what they call original, it's there. But they have translated that in English as altogether lovely. So this beloved of mine is altogether lovely, says Solomon. Muhammadim, they translated as altogether lovely. But the word Muhammad is there in the Hebrew language in the original. Guys, did you hear that? He claims that the name of Muhammad is mentioned in Song of Songs 5.16. However, the Christians have taken the name Muhammad from the Hebrew language and translated into altogether lovely in the English language. Why did Muhammad was mentioned in Song of Songs 516 and why did Ahmadi Dad do not go to many other verses that mention the word, the Hebrew word Mahmadim because this is not the only verse in Song of so Songs 516 where this word is mentioned it's mentioned in many different verses all over the Bible we're going to show you now why this Abdul, this Ahmadidat, 
use this tactic, this deception, to only go to the Song of Songs 516. Why did Ahmadidat did not go to a different verse to show you that Muhammad is there? Guys, we are going to destroy Ahmadidat today. And I want you to download this video after I'm done. Download this video and share it around on all your social media accounts. Because Muslims still today, after 35 years, are still following this liar and deceiver. So let us dissect the two deceptions that Ahmadidat used here. We're going to address them both. And we're going to destroy and expose this liar. This late Ahmadida that Muslims are still proud about. Let us start dissecting this claim. Deception number one. The Hebrew word which Ahmadida is referring to in the Song of Songs 516 is Mahmad, which can also be pronounced as Mahmad or Muhammad. This word in the Hebrew language simply means desirable, pleasant thing, precious or valuable. The word Muhammad in the Arabic language means the praised one. So as you see, these are different meanings. So the Arabic meaning means the praised one and the Hebrew meaning means desirable, pleasant thing, precious or valuable. So, different meaning. Why is Mr. Ahmadidat using this tactic? Because he is a liar and a deceiver. So, here we just uncovered deception number one and destroyed it. Because you cannot make a cake, Mr. Ahmadidat, and eat it too. If you're going to use a word which has a meaning, because we know Muhammad is a title. It's not really a name. It's a title. Muhammad, guys, don't forget, that was not his real name. He simply took that name when he became a so-called prophet of Arabia. He took the title, which is a divine title, and he used it as his name. It's the praised one. But the Hebrew word Mahmad or Muhammad means totally different it's a different meaning so here we destroyed deception number one let us go to deception number two deception number two Ahmadidat did not mention that the Hebrew word Muhammad is not only mentioned in the song of songs 516 but rather this word is actually mentioned about 12 times as I said earlier in the Holy Bible it's mentioned more than once. But why did Ahmed Didat specifically go to Song of Songs 516? Now we are going to show you why he did not go to a different verse. So why did Ahmed Didat only refer to the Song of Songs 516? Let's have a look at other verses in the scripture, in our scripture, with the same word. And then we will understand why. So if we go to a different verse, like this one, Isaiah 64, 11, it says, Our holy and beautiful temple, where our fathers praised you, is burned up with fire, and our pleasant things are laid waste. Now, if we're going to change pleasant things, with, which here means Muhammad to Muhammad to the, to the Prophet Muhammad because remember Ahmed Dida said Muhammad is mentioned by name so if we put here under pleasant things Muhammad then Muhammad the Prophet of Islam is laid to waste so Mr. Deceiver Mr. Liar Ahmed Dida why didn't you mention Isaiah 64, 11? Because your prophet will be laid to waste. He will be laid to waste. Your own prophet. <laughs> you see the deception, guys? Right? You see the deception? So, 
Mr. Ahmadidat, the Hebrew word is translated to our pleasant things in Isaiah 6, 40, 64, 11 is Muhammad. So using Ahmadidat's logic and tactic, Isaiah 64, 11 should read like this. Our holy and beautiful temple where your fathers praised you is burned up with fire. And Muhammad, Muhammad, our pleasant things is laid waste, like I said. So your prophet, Muslims, according to Ahmadidat, is laid to waste. So he is destroyed. <laughs> you see the deception of Mr. Ahmadidat? He used verses like Song of Songs 516 for his own agenda. And like we said, Mahmad, the word Mahmad is used for like 12 verses in the Bible, that word. So, Mr. Ahmadidat, you can't make a cake and eat it too. You're nothing but a liar and a deceiver. And now 35 years later, you have been spanked and you have been exposed and searched for everyone to see. Shame on you. Shame on you for challenging the living God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. When you challenged him, this is why he silenced you. Because our holy God is a living God. And when you are challenging our holy living God, he will answer. So this is the deception of Mr. Ahmed Didad. So that was just one of the examples where the Hebrew word Muhammad or Muhammad is used this way in the Holy Scriptures. Other examples will be in Ezekiel 24, 16, where the Hebrew word Muhammad or Muhammad is used to describe the prophet Ezekiel's wife because she was desirable to Ezekiel himself. So, are you telling me that Muhammad was a gay? If you're going to say that Muhammad <laughs> was the one who was desirable to Ezekiel, that means Muhammad was a gay. But we know why Mr. Ahmadidat went only to Song of Songs 516 because he had an agenda. And he thought that we Christians are too stupid. We don't know our scripture to expose this liar and deceiver. This guy, like I said earlier, did it for money. He did it for fame. He didn't do this, guys, for the truth. Because in the end, the truth will set you free. And only the truth is the most important thing in life. I mean, I can be a millionaire. But when I die, what would I do with my millions? Will I take them with me? No. Because only the truth matters in life. As you see, guys, we totally exposed Ahmed Didat today. We destroyed him about his Quranic claims and we destroyed him about this verse that he used to show us that Muhammad is in the Quran. Sorry, in the Bible. He is not in the Bible. He only used a deception to show you that Muhammad is in the Bible. No, he's not in the Bible. He is a false prophet who created Islam to attack the very person of Jesus Christ. So guys, Muslims, wake up. Your hero is nothing but a liar and a deceiver. And today we proved it for everyone to see. Like I said, guys, please download this video, share it around on social media and Muslims wake up. Your heroes are nothing but liars and deceivers. Thank you for watching, guys, and God bless.